Good morning. I'm Brian Reagan. This is Tyler Kelly. And we welcome you to Mornings with Brian and Tyler. And today we continue to look at wealth in the scripture. And uh, Tyler, if you will, read Genesis chapter 13, verse 8 through the end of the chapter. So Abram said to Lot, Please let there be no strife between you and me, and between my herdsmen and your herdsmen, for we are brethren. Is not the whole land before you? Please separate from me. If you take the left, then I will go to the right. Or if you go to the right, then I will go to the left. And Lot lifted his eyes and saw all the plain of Jordan, that it was well watered everywhere, before the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, like the garden of the Lord, like the land of Egypt, as you go toward Zoar. Then Lot chose for himself all the plain of Jordan, and Lot journeyed east. And they separated from each other. Abram dwelt in the land of Canaan, and Lot dwelt in the cities of the plain, and pitched his tent even as far as Sodom. But the men of Sodom were exceedingly wicked and sinful against the Lord. And the Lord said to Abram, after Lot had separated from him, Lift your eyes now and look from the place where you are, northward, southward, eastward, and westward. For all the land which you see I will give to you and, make, and your descendants forever. And I will make your descendants as the dust of the earth, so that if a man could number the dust of the earth, then your descendants also could be numbered. Arise, walk in the land through its length and its width, for I give it to you. Then Abram moved his tent and went and dwelt by the terebinth the trees of Mamre, which are in Hebron, and built an altar there to the Lord. All right. <clears throat> so a few things going on in this passage. Um, we looked at the blessing of the Lord on Abram and Lot was so great that their herds uh, could not be sustained in the same region. And Abraham offers Lot first choice of what he wants. Now, on the one hand, yes, um, Abram did offer Lot first choice. Because that's the kind of guy Abram was. Lot, out of respect, should have looked right back at him and said, You're my elder. You're the one who has the blessing. Whatever you choose, I'll take what you don't. Um, but he didn't. Um, and when you look at what was behind Lot's decision making, it's the same decision making that fills our culture today. Where is the market best? Uh, years ago, I had a brother in Christ, and you know he may he may watch this video, so I won't say his name. But uh, he wanted to go from what was a pretty solid job in a town that was considerably more affordable for his level of income and, and it was going to be like an extra twenty or twenty five thousand dollars a year um, in income if he changed to this other city and you know when you start looking at the math it was actually going to cost him about seven or eight grand to live there even though he would be making more money but one of the things that we talked about was just the nature of that city is that really where you want your family and uh, and he opted not to uh, for a variety of reasons but but how many people uh, when they move they don't really care how evil the city is if the money's big enough and that that was lots issue here economically what lot did made sense Blessing wise, it didn't matter. The blessing of the Lord does not depend on the economics of the area. Lot eventually ends up where, Tyler? In Sodom. In Sodom. He's not living on the outside on the plain doing business there. He ultimately ends up in it as a key businessman. And that's where his family and 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 so so there's that um, the other thing uh, that's that's going on here is that once Lot leaves Abram God finishes showing Abram what awaits him in the promise.
You can have a blessing of God. You can have a promise of God. You can be in a covenant with God. And if you don't actually listen to the covenant, if you're not listening to the promise, you will cut yourself off from part of it. Read me Genesis 12, 1 through 3 again, Tyler. Now the Lord had said to Abram, Get out of your country, from your family, and from your father's house, to a land that I will show you. I will make you a great nation. I will bless you and make your name great, and you shall be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and I will curse him who curses you. And in you all the families of the earth shall be blessed. Get up from your father's house, and leave it, and leave your family. Lot is part of Abram's family. Family. Nephew. His nephew. That's what we call it. In the Hebrew, they didn't have all those words. That's why if you're ever reading Leviticus or one of those, and they go, the son of your mother, the sister of your father or something, um, you know, the, the, the Hebrew didn't use words brother and sister and niece and nephew like we do. Um, that's, that's not how the Middle East works. If you're kinfolk enough to be invited to most family events, that's your brother. That's your sister. That's how they talked. So that's why, Lot said, that's why Abram says to Lot, we be brethren. We're brothers. Well... <laughs> It wasn't his brother, technically. Yes, Tyler's right, he was his nephew. But either way, the only family person Abram was supposed to be taking with him? Sarah. Yeah, Sarah. That's the one through whom he would make Abram a great nation. The, the promise to Abraham was just as much a promise and, and a blessing to Sarah. Lot wasn't included in it. But Lot benefited from it. But it says, The Lord said to Abram after Lot had separated from him, Raise now your eyes. Look from the place where you are, north, south, east, west. Because the Lord had said in Genesis 12, Go to a land that I will show you. Go to a land I'll show you. But he hadn't shown it to him. He just kind of said, well, here's the generic area. <laughs> you say something as simple as Lot? Yeah. Lot was blessed because Lot blessed Abram. He really did. Um, he helped Abram as their herds were growing and, and times were kind of tight. And then the blessing from Pharaoh came on Abram. Lot benefited from it. Everybody benefited because of the, their proximity to Abram. Lot's no different. But the simple fact is, the Lord couldn't open up the rest of the promise to Abram while on that one little point. The blessing wasn't for all of Abram's family generically. The blessing and the promise were tied to Abram specifically and through Sarai specifically. So, when you're understanding Bible well, understand little points of a covenant like that make a huge difference. Some other thoughts, my brother? No, sir. All right. With that, uh, we hope you've enjoyed this uh, live. We did this one live. Of course, those who watch it on YouTube, you'll see the recording because we knew we weren't going to be done in time for the live for the for the recordings to go up. So. Hopefully you enjoyed today's live cast, and uh, Lord willing, we'll see you.